Welcome back everybody, this video is a continuation of the last video. Now before we talk about how the clients are going to call this method, let's first make the method do something. So what we're going to do is tell all of the clients that there's an announcement. So to do that we can access the clients property and then we can select all of the clients and then after this dot we can put a method or a function that is available on the clients. So just for consistency sake, we will call it announce. So what's happening here is that when this method gets called, every single client has a function announce that is going to be executed. All right, so what exactly are we going to be announcing on the clients? Well, we're actually going to pass in some data to be announced. So that means the client is going to have an announce function that accepts data. What are we going to pass in? Well, we're going to pass in a message. And you can see that's going to give us an error because the message does not exist. So where does this message come from? Well, essentially what we're trying to do is make it so a client can type up a message and press send. That message gets sent up to the server and it's rebroadcasted to all of the clients. And the client is going to pass in data to this method. So we could say string message. So basically this method gets called and we receive this message here. And then this message is rebroadcasted to all of the clients. That is essentially how the server side code works. In the next video, we'll be talking about the client side code. Thanks guys. And I'll see you there. Peace.